Facebook's going to censor you if you talk about COVID or vaccines because their liberal fact checkers do not like truth or independent thinking. And Biden plans to rejoin the evil UN's corrupt, disgusting Human Rights Council, of course, after President Trump pulled out of it a few years ago. This is the end of hour one of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. It's Tuesday, February 9th, 2021, 6.55 a.m. here in Los Angeles. Stay tuned for hour two. Jesse Lee will be right back at the top of the hour. Facebook will take down posts with vaccine claims and COVID claims that it deems false. Any vaccines, really, but also the COVID vaccines. The Epic Times reports that the false, it will be deemed false according to health organizations or Facebook's extreme left fact checkers, right? False according to who? Give me a break. We are expanding our efforts to remove false claims on Facebook and Instagram about COVID-19 and vaccines in general, evil Facebook posted. Since December, we've removed false claims about COVID vaccines debunked by public health experts. Following consultations with leading health organizations, including the evil UN's corrupt World Health Organization, WHO, we're expanding the list of false claims that we will remove. That My description of evil UN's corrupt World Health Organization. Evil World Health Organization did come under fire in 2020 for allegedly mishandling this Chinese communist virus outbreak. Then uh, President Donald J. Trump withdrew from funding for the United Nations organization, World WHO. Since then, there have been increasing calls for an investigation into the origin of the virus, which is said to have emerged in Wuhan, China in 2019. We don't really know the truth, right? Facebook added that if claims reviewed by our third party fact checkers are rated false, they will be labeled and demoted. One of Facebook's main fact checkers is Lead Stories, Lead Stories, a company that has received funds from Google, Facebook, TikTok owner ByteDance, which has ties to the Chinese regime, by the way. Twitter announced in December that it would also label and remove posts about the Chinese commie virus that it deems false. Neither Facebook, Twitter... Google nor TikTok have any record of standing on the truth, but only pushing lies and anti-American liberalism propaganda. Biden administration plans to rejoin the UN's United Nations Human Rights Council. The Epic Times reports that evil Biden's anti-Christian Secretary of State Antony Blinken, that guy again, said in a statement, while the council is flawed in is a flawed body in need of reform. The U.S. withdrawal in 2018 not only didn't encourage meaningful change, it created a vacuum of U.S. leadership, which countries with authoritarian agendas have used to their advantage. Yeah, right, like the United States isn't authoritarian now. Look at the shutdowns. The, to address the council's deficiencies and ensure that it lives up to its mandate, the United States must be at the table using the full weight of our diplomatic leadership, he said. What a deceiver. The U.S. can't rejoin right away. Trump left. The Trump administration withdrew from the the United States from the council almost three years ago, pointing to some of the biggest human rights abusers, including China, being among the members of this council. Fox guarding the hen house, right? The Human Rights Council is a poor defender of human rights, said then Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Worse than that, the Human Rights Council has become an exercise in shameless hypocrisy, Many of, with many of the world's worst human rights abuses going ignored and some of the world's most serious offenders sitting on the council itself. China is one of the current 15 members, along with Bolivia, Ivory Coast, Cuba, France, Gabon, Malawi, Mexico, Nepal, Ka- Pakistan, the Russian Federation, Senegal, Ukraine, the United Kingdom, which hates free speech, violates your rights, and Uzbekistan. The council started a new term January 1st. Each nation slated to be a member for three years can't serve consecutive terms. United States could still apply to fill one of the three seats held by Western European countries, Austria, Denmark, Italy. Those seats are up for grabs in October. Disgusting statements from the Fijian diplomat Nazhat Shamim Khan, who is the new president of this Human Rights Council. He told colleagues that the council would continue to work on responding to deep inequalities laid bare by the COVID-19 pandemic and a bunch of other communist mess. I'm James Hake. Now on to Jesse Lee Peterson, Hour 2.